Body moisturizers for summer. Well, hey guys, recently I filmed a video and shared with you guys some of my all-time favorite facial moisturizers that are a perfect choice for summer, and I saw some requests. Please do one of these videos for body moisturizers. You're in luck. Not only is that the topic of today's video, but just like the face moisturizer one, these all happen to be niacinamide free. Niacinamide, a B vitamin I personally adore in skincare products. It has a many amazing properties, good for the moisture barrier, redness, dark spots. However, some of you find that it is irritating. You know, we're all sensitive to different ingredients to a certain extent, and niacinamide, because it is so useful, is in so many things, but you're in luck. These five do not have niacinamide, okay? So share this with somebody who hates niacinamide that wants hydrated skin. Now, speaking of hydrated skin, it's summer, you're hot, you're sweaty. Does not mean you're moisturized. Does not mean your moisture barrier is happy with you. Does not mean skin problems related to an impaired moisture barrier are not right around the corner. So it's not necessarily a time of the year where you can just abandon ship with moisturizers. In fact, in fact, there are many summer specific issues that pop up and necessitate a lightweight hydrating moisturizer. We are having some sort of mosquito apocalypse and not just like visible mosquitoes, but these like little tiny microscopic mosquitoes that seem to come from the depths of Hades. There is no leg safe in the city at the moment. And so in order to deal with the itch, moisturizers are really helpful for soothing the itch and preventing you from scratching. Maybe you were unfortunate enough to get a little bit too much sun on a vacation or just doing yard work outdoors. Maybe you unfortunately got a sunburn the barrier needs a little TLC and a recommendation is a lightweight hydrating moisturizer. As a matter of fact, if you put any of these in the refrigerator and apply them to the skin while they're cold, not only will it help soothe the skin, alleviate discomfort, maybe related to a sunburn, but it also can help to alleviate itch, whether it be from mosquito bites or maybe you have atopic dermatitis and it's flaring because here's another thing. Summer, we sweat, sweat, it's very hard on our skin's moisture barrier. It can trigger flares of eczema as well as other skin problems, including frictional dermatoses and the skin folds like chafing between the thighs, under the arms, the list goes on and on. So if you thought that summer sweat humidity meant oh, I must not need moisturizer, <laughs> you'd be mistaken. But, but here's the thing, moisturizers that are really heavy may not be super comfortable in the summer. They may slow down the rate of evaporation of sweat, make you feel overheated, maybe even aggravate that heat-related skin condition, miliaria, aka prickly heat, heat rash. I have a video all about this bad boy, so you need to check that out if you are in the throes of heat rash right now. But you'll recall from my videos on miliaria that you wanna make sure that you are sticking to a lightweight hydrating moisturizer to soothe the skin, but not further contribute to blockage of sweat because that is the root cause issue with heat rash. All of these are free of fragrance. Now, Vanny cream, you know, it's a go-to recommendation for anyone dealing with any kind of skin problem because as a brand, they tend to leave out common irritants, common skin allergens. Now they have the cream, which I love, frequently recommend. It is a richer moisturizer, but have you tried the lotion? Because the lotion is hydrating, lightweight. This is great if you have atopic dermatitis or any skin issue going on where you need a moisturizer that's not heavy or greasy. It has petrolatum in it, which helps to reduce water loss, but it also has dimethicone as well as simethicone. So these are silicones which also reduce water loss but feel a lot more lightweight on the skin in comparison to just like straight up petrolatum. So it's a really good option. As a side note, you can use this as a facial moisturizer as well. It doesn't bill itself as a gel cream but it is kind of the texture, the feeling of a gel cream. A lot of the rashes that I mentioned that are summer specific like heat rash, or 
uh, sunburn or bug bites, I suggest considering colloidal oatmeal. In fact, I've talked about taking a colloidal oatmeal bath to soothe dry, itchy, irritated, inflamed skin. And no one does colloidal oatmeal in their skincare products as well as Aveeno. Uh, I mean, that's like their whole, that's like their whole signature stick, right, is colloidal oatmeal. And they have a ton of really amazing face body moisturizers. But have you tried the Eczema Therapy Rescue Relief Treatment Gel Cream? I discovered this several years ago, and I always forget to mention it because it's one of those products that I really find to be a cost-effective option for not just the body, but for the face as well. All of these, as a side note, I think you can comfortably wear on the face, but this in particular is like a very lightweight hydrating gel with colloidal oatmeal. And it also has lactic acid and alpha hydroxy acid that can soften dry, rough skin texture. But lactic acid also is a humectant. So it helps to improve the water content in skin's outermost layer, getting you back on track faster in terms of barrier recovery, barrier repair. And also when you improve the moisture content in the outermost layer of the skin, the stratum corneum, then the natural turnover processes of the epidermis are a lot more efficient and you have a reduction in the buildup of dry, flaky skin. And it also has shea butter, which is good for reducing water loss. So Eucerin has a gel cream. Um, this particular product is the yin to Eucerin's essential oil balm. This is the hydrating lightweight gel moisturizer from Eucerin. It's got glycerin, shea butter, sunflower seed oil, and panthenol, which is good for hydrating and moisturizing the skin. And I'm comparing it to their essential oils balm, which as a side note, does not have essential oils in it. But the balm is, is like a winter, let's grease up moisturizer, okay? It's, a, it's a almost it's almost stepping into the ointment category, but a bit more lightweight in comparison to a full-on ointment. Um, that is that is a winter, winter product. If I, you know, that is not to say you can't use it in the summer, but it does not belong in this video. The hydration gel cream, on the other hand, does. It really flies under the radar. Like when you go to the store, for example, my local Kroger's, plural, sell it, but it's always like not standing out at eye level. And so you kind of have to hunt around for it in the stores. Of course, they sell it on Amazon. You can get it at Walmart. Um, but yeah, these, this particular moisturizer from Eucerin, I think flies under the radar as far as something that you might enjoy for the summer months. Most of Eucerin's moisturizers tend to be on the thicker side. Um, and this one is, is the exception. It is really a gel cream. It's very similar to the textures of some of these others that I'm mentioning here. Now we talked about a lightweight hydrating gel cream to moisturize the skin after you've gotten a lot of sun exposure or God forbid a sunburn. Now, have you guys ever tried Cetaphil's soothing gel cream with aloe? Um, I'm mentioning that because people love aloe on a sunburn. It does have compounds in it that are soothing, anti-inflammatory. However, I always caution, you know, don't just go out and, you know, pick from the aloe plant and smear it on your skin. It does have compounds in, in the plant that can end up being very irritating in the long run. Um, but aloe as an ingredient in skincare is more refined. Some of those, you know, those irritating compounds have been removed. And so this particular product from Cetaphil is a fantastic option to take advantage of the soothing benefits of aloe, which are in this product, but also lean into allantoin, a skin protectant that's anti-inflammatory and very soothing. This is perfect for a sunburn. Um, it's very, well, it's soothing, hydrating. It helps with the barrier. When you've gotten a sunburn or you've had a lot of sun exposure, you know, it puts a lot of stress on your skin barrier. You are more prone to dryness and irritation. So the skin protectant aspect of this is wonderful, but it's at the same time, super lightweight and hydrating. So it's not going to make you feel overheated. It also has sunflower seed oil in it and emollient. It has glycerin and it has panthenol, a B vitamin that is very hydrating. 
Um, this is one that flies under the radar as well. I don't see a lot of promotional materials for this product from Cetaphil um, because their cream is fantastic. Their lotion is amazing, which also, you know, probably would be a great choice here too. But I really want to draw your attention to this in particular for summer skin issues because you might miss it in the store. Um, definitely check it out. I have a small tube of it, but they sell it in a large jar. And then last but not least is Neutrogena's Hydro Boost Body Gel Cream with Hyaluronic Acid, the fragrance free one. Be aware they make this with fragrance, which I personally don't care for. It is a very strong fragrance, not my preference. I love the fragrance free one though. Um, this, you know, again, has hyaluronic acid. That along with glycerin, another humectant, really help to quench the barrier and get things back on track. It also has petrolatum, a skin protectant. It also has dimethicone, which again, feels a lot more lightweight. Now, this product is such an amazing value. You get 16 ounces, and I wanna say it's like under $13. I like using this on the face too. So that ends up being a really good value in the long run if you wanna try that. That being said, maybe you might feel it's a little too heavy on the face. You have to try it out for yourself, but I definitely enjoy using it as well as any of these others, frankly, um, not only as body moisturizers, but on the face. As a side note, do you guys remember Neutrogena had a body gel cream? Uh, in the Hydro Boost line that was fragrance free, exclusively sold at Walmart, it was their overnight hydration cream. Gosh, I wish they would bring that back. They discontinued it. But this has been around for a long time and fortunately it's still around and check it out because it's one of their best products. I mean, I personally love the Hydro Boost line in general. Um, I just think that the formulations are fantastic and this is no exception and hopefully they don't discontinue it in the future. All right, so that's a wrap up of the five body moisturizers for summer. Most of these are marketed as gel creams um, with the exception of the Vanny Cream one, which markets itself as a lotion, but they all are super lightweight, hydrating, and do kind of have that almost gel cream consistency, including the Vanny Cream one. Highly recommend trying these out if you are looking for a lightweight, hydrating body moisturizer for your skin barrier this summer, but you don't want something greasy. Now, that being said, if you are using a body moisturizer and you enjoy it and it's not causing you any problems and you feel comfortable using it in the summer, like it's still working out fine, there's no reason to replace it. Along those lines, if you try one of these, fall in love with it, don't necessarily feel as though come fall, you're going to have to completely switch up again. You might want to, but you may not need to. So these could become a holy grail for you and one that serves you well. All of the moisturizers in this video would also be wonderful options if you have acne prone skin on the body you get breakouts on your chest your back um, and you want a hydrating moisturizer because side note just because you have acne does not mean that your skin barrier is teed up and not in need of some support in fact many people with acne have an impaired skin barrier it makes it more challenging to tolerate acne treatments uh, and they become prone to dryness and irritation more readily i hope this video was helpful to you all in navigating the moisture selections out there because gosh knows there are so many to choose from now on the end slide I'm going to link my recent video on facial moisturizers for the summer months so definitely check that one out if you are wondering about that but if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe I'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye